we're back with a new episode of Hawk TV this week. What do students have planned for Christmas break? And what big events are on the way? We've got those stories and more for you. Don't go anywhere. Hawk TV starts now. Welcome back to Hawk TV. I'm Lillian. We begin this afternoon with jobs available in our school system. Hawk TV reporter Joshua Paxiuan has the details on how you can help fill the gap. Parents, grandparents, and guardians, would you like a part-time job where you could be off the same day as your children are out of school? If so, this is a great opportunity for you. The Jackson-Madison County school system is now seeking school bus drivers. JMCSS is now offering both the full-time positions and the substitute positions. A full-time driver works 30 hours per week, three each morning and three each afternoon. Drivers receive numerous benefits. Full-time drivers earn one and one-fourth days of sick days per month work, one and one-fourth vacation days along with a personal day each school semester. Full-time drivers also can get insurance through the school system. You must be 25 years old or older, have a five-year clean driving record, and must be able to pass a drug test and background check. For more information, go to jmcss.org. For Hawk TV, I'm Joshua Pagsi Ewan. Thank you, Joshua. With final exams complete, Christmas break is finally upon us. With two weeks free from school, what do you have planned? Hawk TV reporter Arnie Patel spoke with students on what they have planned. The upcoming Christmas break brings the opportunity to relax and see new places. Some of you already have plans. I'm having my birthday party over Christmas break. I'm going to Opelousas, Louisiana. That's my hometown. I'm going to see the Christmas lights at the zoo. I'm going to University Studio for Christmas Eve. And then I'm just going to spend my rest of the time in Florida. I'll be enjoying my family. My grandchildren are coming home from Murfreesboro. So we, they got a lot of things to open. Just sitting back and just enjoy the time and the love and the presence. For the rest of us who don't have any ideas, there's a basketball game over the break. It's at Rockville on the 18th. Or you could go to the Reese Across America on the 18th at the Shiloh National Cemetery. If you like Christmas lights, you can go to the Shadrach's Christmas Wonderland. They're open every day and the last day is on January 3rd. You can go anywhere from 6 to 10 each day. For Hawks TV, I'm Arnie Bissell. Thank you, Arnie. The Winter Olympics are on the way, along with another event that you don't want to miss. Hawk TV reporter Shalia Jones has the details. With the Winter Olympics on the way, there are a few events you should know about to get you ready for the season. Winter Olympics games, commonly known as Beijing 2022, are an upcoming international winter multi-sport event where a lot of people around the world come out to compete. These sports include alpine skiing, cross-country skiing, figure skiing, ice hockey, and more. These events will take place in Beijing, China at the Beijing National Stadium. The Winter Olympics start February 4th and end February 20th. If you enjoy watching track and field, you don't want to miss this. In the summer of 2022, Eugene will host the World Athletics Championship Oregon 22 event. This event will begin July 15th and end July 24th. This is a 10-day event that will bring this world competition for track and field to Eugene and to the United States for the very first time. 190 plus countries and 2,000 athletes will participate in this competition. This event will welcome and inspire the world, showcasing the best of what Eugene and Oregon have to offer. For Hawk TV, I'm Shalia Jones. Thank you, Shalia. It is now time for sports. Hawk TV reporter Jaden Vincent has the latest scores and what games you can attend. Even with Christmas break on the way, don't forget to support your Hawks. Southside will play Haywood this Friday on December the 17th. It will be hosted here at home with the girls tipping off at 6 and the boys to follow. On the college level, Alabama versus Georgia was a good game, but Alabama came out on top beating the number one Georgia 41 to 24. And Michigan wins in a blowout getting the job done against Iowa beating them 42 to 3. Alabama will play Cincinnati in the semifinals and Michigan will play Georgia to see who will advance to the national championship. The college playoffs is now set with Alabama, Michigan, Georgia, and Cincinnati. These are the four teams that will play for a national championship. The Cotton Bowl and the Orange Bowl will be hosted December the 31st, and that will be determined who will play January the 10th of 2022 in Indianapolis for the national championship. That's all for sports. For Hot TV, I'm Jaden Vincent. Thank you, Jaden. We have quite a few films to look forward to as the year comes to an end. 
Hawk TV reporter Bring You Dolls takes us to the box office for a sneak peek at some upcoming releases. Do you like movies or TV shows? If so, here's some upcoming movies and TV shows for you. Here's some movies coming out in December. You tell me who you are before I kill you? Maybe we'll just wait till the whole place blows. Castle Falls is a movie about two men that work together to find $3 million in a building that's soon to be demolished, while also being chased down by bad guys. Grandma! Happy Christmas. You're still alive? Yes, I think so. Another Christmas movie that's coming out in December 2021 is Silent Night. It's a movie that has lots of laugh, but also a dark twist to it. You can find this movie on AMC and Amazon Prime. Hello? You're gonna pay for what you did. Here we have Unforgivable, a Netflix movie starring Sandra Bullock that is very emotional about a woman searching for her little sister after 20 years apart. Growing up, we were taught that the Fire Nation was the greatest civilization in history. And somehow, the war was our way of sharing our greatest with the rest of the world. Get ready for a new TV show, Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar is a live action TV show based off the original cartoon about a young boy that reawakens to undertake a dangerous mystic quest to fulfill his destiny as the Avatar and bring peace to the world. For Hawk TV, I'm Brynja Doz. Thanks, Brynja. Sadly, that was our last story of the day. We'll see you next week. For Hawk TV, I'm Lillian. Have a great weekend, and remember, it's a great day to be a hawk.